the time has finally come. It's time to take on the Pokemon League. So here we go. I have uh, I haven't really updated my team's move sets at all. I mean, some people said I should teach uh, Charlie Megahorn, but I was kind of too lazy to go and do that. So let's go into the Pokemon League. Oh gosh, we're trapped. That's right, we're trapped. So. There's no choice. Now we've got, uh, well, there is a choice. We've got four choices, actually. We can choose uh, to do the Elite Four in any order. If you go here, this is actually the Fighting Type guy. Over here is a Psychic Type. Over here is a Dark Type. And right here is the Ghost Type. I will be doing them in uh, the clockwise order, so we're going to be starting off with this one today. Uh, I believe her name is Chantal. I'm not sure, though, but uh, she is a Ghost Type user. And all of them have some uh, cool intro when you get into their room thing. Uh, I guess it really stepped it up in black and white with, like, the graphics and the, the cool effects and stuff. I don't know. It's really cool stuff going on here. And there we go. Here we are at the first Elite Four member. She's got awesome purple hair, and she uses ghost-type Pokemon. So, eyes brimming with dark flame, this man rejected everything other than himself in order to bring about one singular justice. As part of a novel I'm writing, I was inspired by the challenger who was just here, and somehow I got a little sad. Yes, I am a challenger. She is the Elite Four's Ghost-type Pokemon user, Chantal. I shall be your opponent. It's kind of, uh, not that great of an intro, but I'm guessing the challenger she was talking about is actually N. So, uh, whatever, N is a cool guy, and he takes down the Elite Four with no problems. Um, what I meant to say was, he's a cool guy, he kills Elite Fours, and doesn't afraid of anything. Anyway. Yeah, let's go ahead and go against, uh, Chantal. There you got the, uh, sidebars telling you all the moves that they've got. Her first Pokemon will be Cofagrigus, which, uh, as you can tell, it has Fag in its name, and uh, the curious thing about that is unless you give it a nickname, you can't trade it to another game because Pokemon actually censored nicknames this time around. Because it has Fag in it, you actually cannot trade it unless you give it a nickname. I thought that was a pretty, pretty big fail uh, um, in Pokemon's part that they would, you know, give a Pokemon a name with Fag in it and then not be able to trade it. It's pretty weird, but uh, anyways, you can see there it's got Shadow Ball. It's also got the ability Mummy, which is really not that great. All it does is change your own Pokemon's ability to Mummy. So that, you know, the mummy ability doesn't actually do anything, it just gives it over. So it's basically wasting your own ability, kind of what it does. But uh, because my Scrafty or Vinny doesn't have overconfidence, it's really not that big a problem. It's got shed skin. I mean, anyway, her second Pokemon will be a Golurk of her own. I don't know why it would go for Curse. I was actually planning on using Shadow Punch on it and not kill it. Because that way she would have wasted her full restores on Golurk and not any other Pokemon, but I guess if it wants to kill itself with Curse, that's also great. I was gonna have an awesome Golurk versus Golurk battle. Um, but now I'm Curse, which is kind of annoying, uh, but as soon as you switch out, the Curse really, you know, it, it goes away. So anyway, her second Pokemon is gonna be Jellicent here, or third Pokemon, sorry. Each of the Elite Four actually have four Pokemon this time around. They all have four Pokemon, and there's four Elite Four, so I don't know. Anyway, uh, this thing is a half water, half ghost type. Um, she's gonna have all Pokemon have at least half ghost type. And, uh, one Leaf Blade does not take it out, however, I hope that's not low enough HP for her to use a full restore, however, I'm pretty sure, oh, no, she does not. So that is awesome. Um, this Elite Four has actually gone by pretty easily so far. Um, or at least, you know, this Elite Four member, that's what I meant to say, Chantal. Um, but yeah, these battles really shouldn't be that long, they're, they only have four Pokemon, and they're really not that difficult to take out. Her last Pokemon will be Chandelure, because I want to keep it diverse and use different team members, uh, every time. I'm gonna go for Charlie here, which is a half water type, and because this thing is ghost and fire type, it does have, um, it can have shadow tag, however, I don't think this one has shadow tag, it's probably got, a uh, flash fire or something like that, so don't be stupid and use fire moves on it, I mean, it's a fire type anyway, so I don't know why you would use fire moves on it, um, this should put it into red HP, if not yellow, uh, yeah, red HP, so I'm pretty sure she's gonna go for her four restores here, I really don't care, in fact, I actually would rather that Charlie die right now because then I could just take it out with like Iron Giant or something but uh you know I don't know if I if Charlie doesn't die then that would be better but I think he probably will and she's gonna have two full restores um actually all the Elite Fours will have two full restores to use so there's something to keep in mind uh but anyway yeah this this should be it this battle really not that difficult um as you can see they're really not even that high level or highest level is level 50 all my Pokemon are around that level. Iron John is just like way too over leveled, and uh, what's her name? Nova is kind of under leveled, but whatever. Um, let's go for Vinny now, which I hope she doesn't take me out with a Shadow Ball, and then I'll be able to take it out with a Crunch, and that'll be the end of this battle. Oh god, Fire Blast. That. 
I don't think that'll kill me, though. I don't... Damn it. <laughs> uh, I thought it wouldn't, but kind of did. Um, so I guess we'll go for um, for Iron Giant. I, I really don't know what I'm doing anymore. I might as well just revive Charlie, but I don't know what to do. So I guess I'll... Uh, this thing does have Shadow Ball, and it's most definitely faster than me, so... Yeah, why not? Let's go ahead and revive Charlie. I didn't want to have to revive anything, but I guess if we have to, I'll do it. Um, this Shadow Ball will probably be a one-hit KO, so I don't care. And then we can go into some other sort of Pokemon and then back into Charlie, which is just kind of more annoying than anything. And Poncho can't do crap because he's got only normal-type moves and fighting-type moves, so that's kind of a waste. And I did stock up on a bunch of Hyper Potions, a bunch of uh, full restores and revives, and... I think uh, we're pretty good, so hopefully this will be a one-hit KO on Poncho, and then we can finish this thing off with Charlie. I mean, Poncho's kind of useless in the Elite Four, I'll be honest. Um, I did use um, a Minchino before, or Chinchino, or whatever the evolution is called. I'm pretty sure it's Chinchino. I used it before on a previous, you know, on my real cartridge thing on the DS, and uh, wasn't that great in the Elite Four. Really didn't do all that well, but there we go. Taking out our last Pokemon. Did have to use a Revive, which I would rather not have, but... Whatever, we did it anyway. And uh, Nova's now learning Slash, which would mean that three of my Pokemon have Slash, but I really don't care because Fury Swipes kind of sucks. Now we've got three Pokemon with Slash. Great. Uh, actually, I don't remember if Charlie still has Slash, but there we go. We defeated the first Elite Four member. Not that difficult. Could have gone a little more smoothly if uh, she didn't have those full restores and they, uh, she would have actually used them on Golurk, but either way, there we go. We defeated them, and uh, we got to use the awesome little teleporter thing, and... There we go. As you can see, we've got the light shining there. Uh, first one down, three more to go. See you guys next time.